So here's a brief checklist of what you might want to run through to check your code quality. Number one, check consistency. Be consistent with your variable naming. Be consistent with the different variable names you've used to refer to the same thing. Be consistent with the kinds of things that you've put into functions. Number two, make sure your variables are named clearly. No variables called X or Y, no thank you, no acronyms. Don't sacrifice readability for variable name length. Not a trade-off that's worth it. Number three, check that you've used abstraction to show the user the right level of detail, but don't abstract away too much so that useful functionality is hidden. Number four, check that you've used inheritance where appropriate. Five, check that you've encapsulated together any related functionality under an umbrella class or file. Six, Use polymorphism if appropriate, although the chance for this to appear is less common. To do that, check that you've made any methods that do the same thing for similar classes have the same name. So then familiarity with one of them is then going to allow any user to easily use the other without having to think about it or look up documentation to find out why they might be different. So because of that polymorphism, they're different code that you can use in the same way. Number seven, just take the time to think about where you might be doing things inefficiently. Actually sit back and review the code yourself and think about how things happen in that and if there's any way that it could be more effective. And profile your code if you need to. Time where different things happen and find out where the bottlenecks are. Number eight, make sure that you haven't had to repeat any code. Keep it DRY, dry, don't repeat yourself. Number nine, Make sure you're following conventional Python style guidelines outlined in PEP8, which you can look up. So that's things like use snake case for variable function names, use Pascal case for class names, white space on either side of any equal sign, except when defining keyword arguments or their defaults, um, follow all commas with white spaces and so on. There's loads of stuff in PEP8, which you can look up. And if you do all of those things, then you can be confident that your code is better than most.